Hey girls, Shannon here, and I am so excited that I'm the one that gets to talk to you about Sarah's excellent post this week. Finding balance is something that I've struggled with for years, and it seems like when I finally just get a handle on how I'm spending my time, I feel overwhelmed and overcommitted again. And so I want to share with you one thing that I've begun doing on a seasonal basis um, to make sure that I'm really not overcommitting myself, that I'm not burning myself out, and that I'm doing what Sarah suggested that we do and say no to things that really aren't worth our time or aren't able to be fit into our limited schedules. And this is a trick that I learned from my husband who learned it from his business coach. And I've begun using a time log and it's just a simple sheet of paper that talks about or breaks my day down into 15, 30 or one hour um, segments and I'm able to see how I'm spending my time. Now I don't do it every single day but I did for a week or two because it showed me where my time was going and I was able to evaluate quite a few things. One being how much time was wasted on the internet or watching too much TV. Now the internet and TV are not bad things. I mean they have a place in your life but I think that sometimes we have a tendency to spend too much time on those things and not realize how much time is really going there. I was also able to identify how many hours I was working and what that really meant in terms of my per hour rate. You know, when you get paid on a salary basis or in a lump sum payment um, with royalties or advances like, like I sometimes do, um, it's easy to think, oh yeah, I'm making a decent income, but when you calculate out how many hours you're actually working and then you divide that by the amount that you're getting, it's easy to say, wait a second here, maybe I'm not doing the most productive thing uh, career-wise with my time. And I also was able to evaluate my volunteer work and see how many hours I was volunteering versus how much fruit that was producing. You know, if, if I was volunteering at church or in other ministries and all of these things, was there something to show for that time that I was giving or was I just wasting time at meetings that never accomplished anything or was I attending all of these activities but they were more social rather than ministry oriented and when I could sit down and look at a week or a month's worth of time logs and say wow this is where all of my time goes I had to ask myself if I was happy knowing that that much of my life went to certain things and that helps me figure out what to say no to. And so if you're sitting here this week and you read Sarah's post and you're thinking, I totally am overcommitted. There are things that I need to say no to. Or if you're just thinking, I just need a nap, then maybe you should consider doing a time log. Just simply create a document on your computer or with a ruler and, and a pencil and break your day into 15 or 30 minute segments or hour long segments and see where all of your time goes. And be honest, you know, in the beginning, I didn't want to show my time logs to anyone because I wanted to be able to say if I spent four hours on the internet or if I watched, you know, too much TV or something like that. And once you get a handle for identifying where your wasted time is going or where your problem areas are, then you can bring in an accountability person and say, hey, you know, will you look at my time logs and will you make sure that I'm really spending this much time in Bible study and this much time doing things that are fruitful and productive with my time? But be honest with yourself because you're the only one with something to lose here. And once you realize where your time is going, it becomes easier to say no because time is like money. We have a limited amount and we have to answer to God for how we spend ours. And so I'm encouraging you to invest your time well and to enjoy the life that God has given you. Have a great week.